Hi, it's Casey from G Free Foodie, and today we are grilling with a fire for iFood TV. We are making smoked portobello mushrooms on top of roasted vegetable quinoa. You won't want to miss this one. Check it out. Okay, to start this recipe off, we want to get our vegetables for our quinoa roasting. I've cut everything into roughly one inch pieces. Just got it going on a sheet pan. I'm going to hit it with a little bit of olive oil and some fresh cracked black pepper. Those of you who watch my show know how I feel about this pepper grinder. Flashlight! And a little sea salt. Then we're going into the oven at 400 degrees. These take about 45 minutes. You're going to have to give them a toss a time or two. You want to keep an eye on them, especially for that last 15 minutes or so. Here we go. Into the oven. Okay, now I'm going to get our portobello mushrooms ready for smoking. And here's the thing with the smoking and grilling. I do love good, good food, but I also am a completely fair weather griller. So we are smoking these indoor with my a fire grilling plank. So I've got my plank soaked for 30 minutes. You need to soak a grilling plank for at least 30 minutes and it's on a sheet pan. I've got portobello mushroom caps here. Beautiful. Gills removed because that's not fun. That's not good eats. I'm going to drizzle it with some good quality olive oil, both sides. And then I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of the a fire steak and hamburger seasoning right over each of these mushrooms. The awesome thing about portobello mushrooms is they have that beautiful steaky meaty flavor so adding this steak rub is perfect. So I'm just going to do a couple of those and then these are going to go in that 400 degree oven with my vegetables. Everything's going to cook together. I love it when that works out. big boy there. Give me a minute to arrange. Okay, I'm going to make an indoor smoker, so cookie sheet pan or baking pan with a rim. Our plank on there. And then you want to seal it really tight with foil. So I'm going to crimp around the edges, go underneath and then do the other side because when that plank starts to smoke, we want the smoke to stay in there with our mushrooms. You can do this with fish. You can do it with just about anything that you want to smoke. When you're doing indoor smoking, don't do it for more than an hour because otherwise you may have a fire department issue and that's not a good time either. Okay, this is going in the oven with our roasted veg. Okay, we've got our roasted veggies and our mushrooms out of the oven. I just put my roasted veg in a big bowl here. I'm going to add about two cups of cooked quinoa. This is just cooked in vegetable stock or salt and water, whatever you want to do. And I've got my favorite vinaigrette. I'm just going to pour that over and we're going to toss together. Super simple, actually, this recipe, and so good. And so many beautiful colors. Okay. okay. Look at that. So easy. And I'm just going to take a big couple of spoonfuls here. Because you know my, my A number one thing is not plating. Never has been. It's eating. So I'm going to take, look at how beautiful that is with those colors. So roasted vegetable quinoa. I'm just going to take one of my smoked mushroom caps right off this plank. You can even serve with this plank if you wanted to. Lay it right there. Look at that. Smoked portobellas with roasted vegetable quinoa using my a fire plank. Stupid good like I knew it would be. G-Free Foodie, check us out.